hi writers i am making a video about structure because this is a such an important part of planning a book in fact for me i think it's the most important part i'm not such a fan of fabulous writing i'm a fan of fabulous structure because structure is what is going to take your reader from the beginning of the book chapter one where they meet you or they meet your argument or they meet your big fat idea and it's going to lead them all the way to they when they leave you hopefully changed or hopefully with new information or hopefully with what they came looking for because that's why we buy books as readers is we're looking for information so structure is critical and when we talk about structure your biggest things are your chapters in a non-fiction book so your first decision structural decision is how will i break the chapters up and the difficulty as a writer is if you're an expert in your field so if you've lived a life story and you want to share it, or you are an expert and you want to share some tips and advice, the difficulty is that you have so much information in your head and you are on the level of expert. So you have to take a little bit of a shift and approach this as a reader. And if you didn't know all you knew about the topic, how would you logically find your way in to this topic? And most often it's very simple stuff. And most often we come unstuck because we try and cram everything into every sentence and every paragraph. We don't want to do that. I want you to separate things out. So if, for example, we're structuring a diet or eating or health book, we're not going to just lump a whole argument in the first chapter. We're first going to talk about the theory and why fruit is a powerful antioxidant. And then we're going to talk about problems you may have in eating, chapter two. And then we may talk about... Um, other theories of detoxification. Um, and then we will get to a point where we go to your, the, how to start the plan. And then we'll break it up into another chapter, which may be a, a seven day eating plan. So what we're starting to do is take our big area of expertise, which, and break it into bite-sized chunks. I call them chapters. We all call them chapters. But within the chapters, we break our information up even more. I like to use the term a content bucket. Oh, uh, yeah, because basically what that means is you are separating out in your mind various ways of tackling your argument and you're explaining it in full to your reader. So they, the exposition leads them down the path to where they agree with you. Um, sounds a little bit complicated. I want you to imagine that there's a large river. Your reader's on one side of the river when they meet when you meet them. And you want to lead them to the other side. The other side is where you give them the goodies, where you share the information and you give them the solutions. But you need to get them across the river. And they need to take a step and then another step and another step. So you have to give them a series of stones in the river that they can walk across. And the stones have to follow one after the other. They can't be spread all over the place or your reader will get lost. They can't be too diverse or the reader will get lost. They can't take too long or the reader will get lost. And they can't be too slippery or the reader will get lost and won't get to the end, to your point, to the gold. So you want to create a path of chapters that takes your reader from where we meet you to the way you deliver the gold, which is the argument of your book, the solution. Good luck.